Hey there, everyone. Um, ugh, I'm finally getting a little bit better. Uh, I got struck down with the flu over the last few days. Well, over the last 10 days, more like. I can see why they try and vaccinate everyone so they don't get the flu every year. If the whole workforce got the flu that I just had, there'd be no one bloody coming to work. It was absolutely atrocious. Um, solid probably six days of being just a, a mess. Um, I've lost about four kilograms. Um, had like the whole flu, like so the flu every, everywhere. <coughs> if you know what I'm saying. So it was, it was shit. Uh, so therefore, um, sort of happy to be back. Um, feeling like I can make a video again. And what, a, what better occasion than the celebration of the arrival of a new knife. So you know that I love the TRM Atom. Uh, Three Rivers is an American company, I think smaller-ish batch, smaller-ish staff, like maybe Chris Reeves sized sort of shop, you know, maybe a bit smaller. Uh, and they make a few different patterns, but they don't sort of overextend themselves because they make all the patterns in-house. And lots of their patterns sort of look like this. This is like their rough pattern. If you like it, that's what you get. You get this in a couple of different sizes. Um, this is the Nerd, the Neutron, the Atom, maybe some others. Um, so this is the Atom, this is the larger uh, one. And uh, this is, it's fantastic. It's um, my go-to everyday carry knife, unless I'm reviewing something. Uh, between this and, you know what, it really is just this pretty much, is when, I, when I'm not sure what I'm gonna carry or it's not a, not a thing, like it's not, I'm not carrying what I carry that day, I'll just take this because I know it works. Uh, it's what I like in a knife. Nice and thin, great steel, good action, good quality, um, everything like that. And in fact, they're relatively, you know, for what knives can go for these days, I think they're relatively good value as well. Um, that being said, my friend Brian, Brian sent me this one. Just, it was like a gift, which was probably one of the crazy nicest gifts that I've had on the channel. And then, I mean, Matt, I'll buy one of these knives one day myself. <laughs> Cause Mary Ann got in touch with me uh, from TRM and they just said, hey, would you like to pick out a, a Neutron 2? So I did. I mean, I don't take stuff from companies very often at all, but when TRM come knocking, I'm afraid I, I couldn't quite resist. So that being said, this isn't a proper review. This is just sort of a, a, a demonstration or a, a hype video, perhaps. <laughs> Who knows? Um, I, mean, I try not to be a slut for, for companies, but um, as, as I said, when the makers of your favorite knife um, say, hey, um, thanks for thanks for being up our, our knives. Would you like a like a knife to play with? You you generally say yes. And it's one of the perks of all this. Uh, I mean, I look at my I look at how much I make from YouTube. I look at how much I've spent from spent on knives, and the second is still a lot more than the first. So I'd hardly say I'm I'm buying solid gold toilets with this channel. So there you go. It was a bit of a perk, and I'll stop blabbering on about it. But I do find the whole thing slightly awkward, regardless. Anyway. It's the slightly smaller model of the of the Atom. And the Neutron 2 has the 3D machined G10 scales, which uh, is very nice. And uh, this is obviously a G10 scale here. This is like a woven blue and black G10. Uh, this is an after, well, not an aftermarket. Well, I guess it's made by TRM, but this initially shipped with the gray scales. Uh, and then this, um, yeah, it's 3D machined candy cane. And so it's like a red and white, which when it's kind of milled away, uh, makes a bit of a pinky looking color, which, which I liked. It's a lot different to most of my other knives. And there aren't too many knives where you can get just a red handle. And red is probably my favorite color. Um, that's why I like this, um, this Sandrin so much. It's a red, red handled knife. It's, yeah, you don't often see red on a knife handle on a default color. Like even Spyderco's, oh, I'm still kind of shivery. Even Spyderco's Delicas. You have to get like a special release to get a red one. So yeah, I like the pinky, reddy, whitey kind of handle color. Uh, everything else about the knife is, it's like a smaller, it, it's a smaller version of the Atom. So slightly more compact in the hand and in the pocket. Um, still has the deep carry pocket clip. Still has the 20 CV steel in a really nice thin kind of speary, droppy, pointy uh, blade shape. Um, blade is good mix of flat and then belly, as was the other one. Nice sort of straight lines from there to there, and then nice sort of curving belly. Let you do most things with it. Uh, as I said, I'm sort of um, I'm so attuned to using this. I'm you know, 
I'm quite good at using this knife if I do say so myself. <laughs> now I'm just I'm just highly used to that one. And so this one, it wasn't too much of a curve to get it going. It cracks out just as easily. It's still a liner lock, so obviously not a you know cold steel triad lock level of, of resilience and endurance, but it will certainly hold the knife open, which is what you want in liner locks, generally afford good actions as well, without having to worry about things like um, you know, detent uh, lock and things like that, and the stuff that you start getting when you have uh, frame locking knives. So let's look at it on the table. I'll show you next to some other of my blades and um, we'll have just a bit of a, a bit of an, an initial perv at the TRM Neutron. Uh, my initial impression is really strong, but I feel like a bit of a shill doing a video on like the second day of having it, but I wanted to make a film. I'm still not super, you know, go, go, go. So uh, I figure this is something I can put out. Hopefully you're interested. All right, um, let's have a bit of a look. Make, let's do some nice little fancy shots, shall we? Alrighty, how's about a little uh, <clears throat> out of the box uh, edge retention test? This is just on the edge of the knife coming from the factory, which is very sharp. I'm unsure of the degrees. You know, I'm gonna wager that it's about 17 per side because it looks about what I put on a knife. So it's between, you know, 17, 18-ish. Um, 20 CV, it's reasonably, reasonably sort of machine finished. So you can still sort of see the grind lines and then with maybe a slight polish over the top of that so certainly isn't the uh, mirror polish that I usually do so it'll be a, an interesting test um, to see how it does on a pretty aggressive medium being uh, twisted sisal rope Uh, being the test that I do, we're just going to cut this rope with the same part of the blade over and over again until a knife no longer cuts a held sheet of paper like I just did. So let's see how well the 20 CV steel from TRM does straight out of the box. Let's go. Pretty 
have you to skip to with good steel, so we'll stop every 50 now, so it's 200, happily still slicing paper. Yeah. Still so weak. So uh, weak. <laughs> Factory edges, you know, 300's decent. I'd be able to do better once I sharpen it myself. Uh, we'll just see if it strops back easily enough. It's always a nice test of a UZ knife. So you'd expect 20 CV when treated well on my tests, like M390, you'd expect about um, 500 or so cuts using my edge. So factory edge, who knows? Just super rough freehand stropping, and I reckon I'll be able to get that nice edge back again. This paper's a bit dewy, it's been really cold, so that might also factor into it just a bit. Yeah, no worries at all. Straight back to a nice, draggy sort of cut. Maybe pretty close to it anyway. Yeah. So there we are, yeah, 300 cuts straight from the box. Um, it's a good steal. And um, yeah, with my sharpening, I'll no doubt be able to make it into a excellent steal. So let's, uh, let's um, on the full review, I'll do a um, 17 resharp, 17 per side mirror polished resharp, and, and that'll be the, uh, the uh, edge test. But for now, I'm just gonna be watching up on the <laughs> Great working edges, certainly obtainable and maintainable on things like this, as long as your steel doesn't go too crazy on the on the hardness scale. Alright guys, so I was The state of this thing. The state of this. Put her out like two minutes ago for like a wee, and she's inside so much. She's she's deaf now. So she, oh, she see me? Yeah, yeah, I see you. No, she doesn't. She doesn't, she doesn't realise I'm here. She thinks I'm at the gate there. She's kind of deaf now and stupid. <laughs> Oi. Ada, I'm here. Hey, hey, you dick face, how you going? Hello. Are you blind too? I'm right here. Hello. Hello. Seriously, she's like, she's out, she's inside so much. And as soon as you put her out, she's like, fuck's this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll come get you in, in a sec. Yeesh. Um, so anyway, um, Really good first impression from the TRM Neutron. Um, factory edge, yeah, performed okay. I generally will soup it up a little bit when I do my own sharpening job on it. Um, yeah, and the best part is by, you know, as the, as the day's gone on, I feel a whole lot better as well. So, you know, without saying anything too hyperbolic, I think I'll just leave it as a um, TRM Neutron definitely cures influenza. Woo. Ah, oh, here you go.